The Destination, the New River Gorge in West Virginia. We began our journey at Sandstone, West Virginia, a small town with some very welcoming people. After having trouble leaving our car for five days at the New River Gorge State Park due to bridge day, we set a new endpoint near Hawksnest State Park. We traveled nearly 50 miles down the river and it was a journey we'll never forget. bigger sleeping bag than I probably should have, but we made it fit, so I had to do a little trimming on some of the uh, foam on the interior. Either way, we're going to be making it down the river here soon, so that's all that matters. What do we got? Is that a turf? Yeah, it's a turf. Come on. Check that out. Yeah, check this out right here. Bam. Kayaks on the top. Let me pop the, pop the lock right here and show you the secret stash. Bam, we got the front here, stocked with dry bags, water sheds, best one. Bam, pop it over. You have your road bike, we got your sleeping bag set up. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. Gonna have a healthy night of sleeping for uh, four days out in the West Virginia wilderness. Here we are, day one on the new river we just put in, and uh, we're in Sandstone. We're heading down near Hawks Nest State Park, which is about 53 miles. Uh, we got some flat water for two days with a couple rapids in between, and then we should be heading into the gorge for a fun day of rapids and stuff. Two bags up front, two bags in the back. We got our cooking gear in here. Uh, I, I got a bag on the back here. It's got all my uh, quick items. Weather's good, feels good out here, you know. So we're excited to see what we got ahead of us. on the way shaved her legs and then he was a she she says hey babe take a walk on the wild side said hey honey take a walk on the wild side we're here at hammock camp on the first night had a long day on the river and we're just relaxing gonna have some drinks gonna cook some food on the fire once we make the fire uh -huh. got the river 
right there. Should be good. In the bathroom, she's everybody's darling. But she never lost her head. Even when she was given head, she says, hey, babe. Take a walk on the wild side. So today I'm going to show you about the Life Straw. It's nice. It's purchase. It's $20. Uh, uh, and only 20 bucks, so can't go wrong. What it is is it's a filter, pretty much. It's good for 250 gallons and some new river water here, fresh off the river. You just pop this, pop this. This is the view of the campsite. Doesn't look any great, but it is. Coffee. Coffee. Coffee has the body of it. Over there. There's the river. Day two on the water again. Uh, should be a good day. We got a couple things ahead of us. Small little waterfall to look at on the side route. Uh, we also have a couple little holes apparently. One called, uh, what is it called? Uh, surprise. Sparkler? Oh, yeah. We got a <laughs> surprise coming in. I don't know, we'll see if that's even anything. Uh, other than that, it should just be a simple day. Uh, later on, we'll have some more whiskey schweps. <laughs> Yesterday, we went a lot further than we expected. We actually did almost 25, if not 30 miles. Um, so today, we really don't have too far to go. We've already traveled about, I don't know, two, three miles, it's been an hour or two. And it looks like we're gonna have to camp soon, so I think we're just gonna find a campsite <laughs> and uh, hang out for the day, you know? That's, that's gonna be a good one. So we have uh, we got that. We have uh, Everclear, peaches, some water, true mountains. Right? You're a mountain train. We got a campsite over there. Take a look. Pretty nice spot there. Set up. Got lots of wood for the night. And we got this beautiful section here we're just chilling out. Things are just ever clear. <laughs> How many sips can I ever clear a sip without being sip sips? We got some rain coming down right now, but it's not pretty, it's not that heavy, so it should be good. Put the fire rip roaring. And we got a nice little setup here where it's the tarp. The headlamp, they'll get close to the headlamp. <laughs> what do you got there? That's a, uh, that's a mountain drink. It's not ever clear this time, but we have a little bit of whiskey this time. A little bit of whiskey.
What just happened here? I don't know, we definitely heard some larger footsteps in the backwoods behind us. We're not sure what it was, we made some noise. Um, hopefully we don't hear that again, but yeah. it's definitely <laughs> a bigger, bigger animal out there. Day three, morning, just woke up. It was pretty good sleep for me personally. Uh, I did get a little chilly. I had to wake up a couple times to keep this guy going. Uh, 15 miles today. Should be a good day, calm day. Tomorrow's the gorge. And then it's back to real life, I guess. All right, so we're putting on for day three now. Just got up. Looking like it's gonna be a nice day. Sun's coming out. So looking forward to it. I'm uh, floating, had a rough morning. Ended up myself, pretty much. I think it was too much Everclear last night. Oh, here's our camp for night three. Pretty nice. Got a nice set, we're gonna need a fag on. Tonight is uh, night three. Uh, we got the double fires going over there, and uh, we're right above Surprise Rapid. And tomorrow morning we're gonna wake up and we're gonna head the whole way through the whole gorge. Uh, the water's pretty low on the lower side, so I don't, I'm not too worried about anything being that crazy, but it should just be a fun day of hitting some rapids. So this is the last day of the journey. Uh, we're heading through the last part of the gorge today, going through the rapid sections. And uh, should be a pretty good day. It's a little frosty this morning, probably frostier than all the other mornings, but got a nice fire ripped roaring. Got some coffee, so spirits are coming out. Final day. We're on the New River, We're going through the New River Gorge. Got a couple class fours, apparently some class fives. We'll see how that is. We're all suited up, ready to go. This is the end of the trip, so here we go.
finally fall And all of our houses they build in the seven He's finally fall Nothing at all it meant nothing Sometimes I can't believe it I'm moving past the feeling Sometimes I can't believe it I'm moving past the feeling To the light made it off the New River, uh, right before the, the dam here near uh, Hawks Nest State Park. So we're pretty beat, pretty worn out, but we're gonna go have a nice dinner and probably end up sleeping in the van. <laughs> so, woo, we did it. The circle has been completely finished. We are back to where we started at and we're having a couple beers, enjoying the end of uh, day four. And it's pretty exciting that we made it 50, I think to be exact, four miles. We don't know. We're gonna have to tell you later once we check it out. It was a lot of miles. Either way, we have accomplished from sandstone to hawk's nest, um, the New River, passing through the New River Gorge, which was an excellent day. And that's the end of today. And now we're heading back, trying to find the, the next destination. Maybe Upper Yucca Game. Love and hate, she will rule you one way. The sweetest woman in the 